let me start by saying good morning, afternoon, and or evening to everyone. And also to thank everyone for joining us. Today is the first webinar in a series of 10 to be delivered over the next few months. Please allow me to stop talking and introduce Laura, co-owner and culinary destination specialist at Top Travel Italy. She's based in Rome and she's definitely my favorite culinary specialist. Laura, over to you. So, thank you so much for the introduction and I'm not sure if I'm the right person for stop talking about food and Italy because I could go on and on for days. Uh, we will start from Piedmont. This is the actual Piedmont in the northwest uh, of Italy and uh, this is the first capital of Italy, Turin. When you go to Turin, uh, you should imagine yourself Take your time to relax at one of the coffee shops along the, the streets under the, the colonnades of the city. And this is named the Bitterin. It's coffee, it's drinking uh, chocolate and it's milk. This is a must and there is one of the coffee, coffee shops is named Al Bitterin because it was the first one that uh, invented this drink. Another traditional um, Mm, sweet is the Gianduiotto. Not everybody uh, knows that, but it's very famous in Italy and very traditional because it's only the original ones are only made in Piedmont. So moving uh, again to the south of uh, Turin, we will pass uh, to uh, a region that probably is the most interesting for you uh, and for the gourmet uh, people. It's the the area of the Lange and Barolo. Uh, the town uh, is most famous for a product that's unique in the world, uh, the white truffle. And this is a picture of the white truffle festival that takes place every year in October and November. And uh, this is um, a dish that is very, very famous, not only in Alba, but in all Piedmont. It's a tagliarin uh, with white uh, truffles. Uh, this is an example of uh, a wine uh, museum and it is the interior of the Grinsani Cavour uh, castle, which is another town close to Alba. Last but not least, uh, probably the queen of Piedmont, the Nutella. Everybody in the world knows Nutella. This is where the Campania region is, so as Andy said, in the south of Italy. I would love to start from the capital of the region and of the rain, uh, which is of course Naples. You could see here the Vesuvius, uh, the volcano, and here is the Bay of Naples. And uh, this is something that you maybe recognize, the Baba. Uh, the Neapolitan Baba is very famous and it's made uh, with rum, so it's very alcoholic. Of course, you know that Campania is also famous for the eruption of the Vesuvius in 79 uh, Anno Domini, uh, but not everybody knows that it destroyed not one only city that was Pompeii, but two main cities that were very, very famous. So this is a mosaic from Herculaneum, not from Pompeii, uh, which is close to Naples as well, but it is even better preserved. Just to give you an idea, these are the original colors from the eruption because the ash just covered uh, the, uh, the seal and this is how Herculaneum now looks like. So you could see that it's even more realistic. It's a real city. So uh, let's change to another basic ingredient uh, of all and out of the lemon is made the limoncello. If you have been to Italy, uh, probably you have tasted uh, the limoncello, but Campania and more specifically Sorrento is uh, from uh, this um, alcoholic liquor is from. Okay. The queen of Campania is the pizza margherita. Margherita is again the same queen um, and um, the, the, the first uh, pizza, um, official pizza was invented and named after the queen Margherita. Of course, 
if you go to Campania, you must pay a visit to the Amalfi Coast. So this is Amalfi, the Cathedral of Amalfi, the St. Andrew Cathedral. This is a Trani, a perfect postcard. Uh, this is Ravello. Ravello is the city of music because it is led um, a music festival every summer, not this year, unfortunately, and it is up high on the mountain. So it's the only important center of the Amalfi Coast, which is not at the sea level. It's actually high, very high, but it has a beautiful panorama. Just to make you understand, this is not um, a picture from internet. I made this picture while I was on the infinite terrace uh, in the Amalfi Coast in Villa Cimbrone and I was scared of high and so I was uh, three steps uh, behind uh, the terrace because I just could go uh, closer. Uh, it's something that you should see once in your life. It's just amazing. You can't see the difference between uh, the sea and the sky. It's just amazing. And uh, this is the last picture, just the colors of uh, the Amalfi Coast and in general of Italy. Uh, you, we have colors everywhere and this is just a simple picture of a market. So you can see why uh, people love uh, Italy because from simple ingredients and colors, you could just make every kind of preparation.